Pay close attention. What you're about to see is Bible prophecy being fulfilled. Welcome to another edition of YPN News, bringing you the news as it relates to Bible prophecy and foretold by Yeshua Hawkins. Our news today focuses on the winds of war that continue to increase in speed as nations plan their strategies and make their moves, each one hoping to come out on top in a war that has no winners. And lastly, a model of the Third Temple in Israel was unveiled this week and has got the attention of a lot of people in that area. Hmm, interesting. Well, first, let's take a look at an interview with author and historian Dr. Webster Griffin Tarpley as he discusses the situation in Syria with Press TV. Listen to his response when he was asked what happened to the Syrian National Council's promise for democracy. And also pay very close attention to his comment about NATO not wanting a peaceful solution, but rather continuing violence and civil wars. It seems kind of odd. Uh, let's take a look. An unwilling opposition that sees regime change as its only objective. Whatever happened to SNC's promises for democracy? Well, this is a group, the Syrian National Council, so-called, self-styled, of adventurers and um, international con artists, I guess we would say, who see their life as a never-ending succession of conferences in expensive hotels and they're jetting around the world from Cairo to Istanbul to Paris to all of these different meetings and naturally they're carrying out their orders the orders coming from NATO from Hillary Clinton from Haig from Fabius and the rest of them are don't have a deal uh, NATO doesn't want a peaceful uh, solution uh, NATO doesn't want a peaceful uh, solution. Uh, NATO doesn't want a peaceful uh, solution of the internal problems of Syria. They want the issue. They want the issue kept alive. They want continuing violence, continuing civil wars. They want continuing violence, continuing civil wars. They want continuing violence, continuing civil wars, so that they can use it uh, eventually, if the, uh, the conditions uh, obtain, for an aggression, for uh, a coalition of the willing an armed attack, a no-fly zone, followed by regime change. So. Well, interesting comments from Dr. Tarpley. That's right. Now, governments are supposed to carry out the wish of the people. However, as we are seeing in Germany, these desires are being mostly ignored. A proposal to bring in Patriot missile systems will be voted on by Parliament this week, despite the fact that the German people don't want them. Now, many people there do not trust the parliament government or the media. In fact, 80% of people were against the Afghanistan issue, yet troops were deployed anyway. The German population feels they will be ignored on this issue as well. Now, some anal analysts believe after the Syrian issue, Iran and even Russia will be next. Uh, they're pretty much on point with that. Uh, Russia would be under attack from NATO from within through foreign agents, and, and this would make an already unstable situation in that area even worse. Right. Well, according to secret sources regarding the ongoing conflict in Syria, Syrian rebels have been rolling out the big guns, hmm. and they are apparently being made in America. Really? Apparently, Washington has been secretly hmm. supplying advanced anti-tank missiles to what they consider moderate militant groups, Kind of makes you wonder who's really behind these curtains in these conflicts. Mm, that's for sure. Now, for our last article, Palestinian activists have said Israeli officials have unveiled a model of the third Jewish temple. Palestinian activists say the model has a big hall and can accommodate hundreds of visitors each day. Israeli officials hope the attraction could attract tens of thousands of local and forest tour foreign tourists every year. The al Aska Foundation for Endowment and Heritage has described the move as a, a direct threat to the mosque. Mm. 
The organization says the project is building enough support to make a Jewish temple on the Al-Aqsa site. Now, Palestinian groups have already warned of large-scale Israeli excavations near Alaska's southern gate. Uh, the nation's leaders, of course, may not want peace, okay, as we heard with NATO, not wanting a peaceful solution, but the people are definitely crying out for it. Sadly, they're looking to the wrong sources for a solution. Yisrael Hawkins and the House of Yahweh has been bringing forth the one and only peaceful solution for the world's problems. He has also published a booklet detailing the peaceful solution to rebuilding the next temple. Now, when you contact the House of Yahweh, don't forget to request your copy along with your prophetic word magazine and monthly newsletter. Here's how you can do that. You can write the House of Yahweh at The House of Yahweh, P.O. Box 2498, Abilene, Texas, 79604. You can call them at 1-800-613-9494. Visit them on any of their websites, www.yahweh.com or www.yeshohawkins.com and their latest website, www.yahwehsbranch.com. You can email them at info at Yahweh.com. And for any calls outside the United States, please call the number on your screen. Up next, the one bringing the true peaceful solution to this world, Yisrael Hawkins. From all of us here at YPN News, I'm Katan Alexander. And I'm Jeffrey Hammerman. Thank you for watching.